Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I am so excited to get to share with you a fantastic quarterly travel subscription that has been once again sent to me for review. It is called Gate Check. So it came from Canada in this giant white box filled with all kinds of goodies. It just has that simple little sticker there to let me know where it is from. But I am always so excited about travel subscriptions. Travel is a really important part of my life. I really think that it is an important thing to learn learn about other cultures and from other cultures. And I know that travel is not always possible for everyone for a variety of reasons. So it is so awesome that there are subscription boxes that are out there that are bringing the world to us so that we can learn and enjoy and also support some of those small businesses in those fantastic destinations that we wouldn't get to experience otherwise. This box is $99.95 Canadian per quarter. It is $15 Canadian shipping within Canada, $25 to the US. So so with the conversion rate, you're looking at about $72 for the box US and then about another $18 for the shipping. So $90 including shipping for this lovely quarterly box that usually has around seven or eight items, which I think is a really good deal. And again, they gave us a lot of travel perks as well as information about that destination. So it says every quarter we'll take our subscribers on a journey when they unpack their box filled with beautiful premium products relating to a specific destination or themed travel for that period so gotta love that I think that there's actually an extra item sometimes for the premium subscribers who are annual subscribers so I don't usually get that item but still plenty of for us to take a look at now I do have a code for you of course it is Noel 10 and that will save you 10% as always I will leave that for you in the description box below but I'm really excited about the destination this time around it is the magical land of India which I was lucky enough to visit quite a while ago I believe it was back in 2008 I had a friend that was living and studying there and I was able to travel around with her I really loved the south of India I didn't do too much of the north but there's definitely Definitely a lot more for me to explore and I would love to go back sometime. So just pulling some of the stuff out, um, I am seeing a nice uh, recipe it looks like for chickpea and vegetable coconut curry. I am a fan of curry. Let me know in the comments below if you are a fan of curry. All kinds of curries, Thai curries, Indian curries. And then the two gals that put this box together, they are travel professionals and they work with another company called Colette Travel and they do all kinds of um, sort of already organized group tours. So you can kind of see it says explore the world with Colette and there is some exclusive uh, travel perks for example the code that's being made available to subscribers this time around can save you up to $300 per person depending on what trip you choose so I think that's a pretty good deal and definitely worth checking out if you are interested in it so that's one of those things that you get as a subscriber and then they have given us this very lengthy letter from gate check on some very lovely stationery uh, double-sided Wow so on the back it is saying two exclusive bonus travel promotional offers so from Colette, you can get up to $300 off per person using the code TRAVEL23 and they give you all kinds of uh, different contact information of course as well. You can always just check out the Gate Check website. And they're also working with Worldwide Adventures India specifically where there is a bonus offer all the way through March of 2023 where you can use the code Gate Check and get a 5% discount off your trip. So that's pretty awesome that they're working with two different companies. If you guys miss that, if I don't have a chance to put it in the description box, just send Send me a DM or um, write it in the comments and I will try to uh, transcribe all that information for you. But otherwise, you guys, we have a lot to get through. So it says namaste we're so excited to continue our journey with you celebrating the world of travel we can't wait for you to unpack your quarterly travel box and discover unique products that inspire your passion for travel each quarter we'll send you your gate track travel subscription box containing at least eight amazing full-size products relating to the specific destination little sneak peek there for you guys with the pink foozles uh, and then it says many products included in your boxes are curated for their uniqueness support local artisans or donate to an important cause so a lot of what I already read to you it says in this latest gate check box we want to take you to the mystical land of India a land of fascinating contrasts chaos and tranquility antiquity and modernity the old and the new home to ancient philosophies spiritual awakenings dynamic performing arts spectacular landscapes eclectic heritage and phenomenal food absolutely this incredible country offers an array of experiences that will stir your soul like no other place on earth your passage to India so that is our theme your passage to India will 
leave you with lifelong memories like no other. So, and then she gets to talk a little bit about her own personal experience, which was much more recent than mine back in 2019. So I will keep this handy so that I can read about all of the items to you and how uh, they are significant to the box. So the first thing, I'm loving this mustard color. It looks like a pashmina shawl. It is cashmere. It says, when traveling, there's nothing more comforting than the luxury and warmth of wrapping yourself in a pure cashmere pashmina shawl. So let me go ahead and open this up. Pashmina is the exquisite art of hand weaving finest cashmere wool into luxurious shawls, scarves, and accessories. So you can see it even has the cashmere label on it, but usually that's just a sticky label and you can pull it off. It does have some nice twisty tassels, but I just think this color is stunning. It says the delicate texture of pashmina with complex hand weaves were first woven in India and have been an integral part of the Indian royal lifestyle for many centuries. This luxurious, oh, they're calling it gold, not mustard. This luxurious gold pashmina shawl will match and dress up any outfit in Enjoy this pashmina on the plane, sightseeing, or for your sunrise visit to the famous Taj Mahal in Agra. Pop this beautiful shawl into your handbag and have a handy, stylish cover-up providing style, warmth, or modesty wherever you go. Um, it should be washed in hand-washed in cold water using a wool or cashmere shampoo or with mild detergent fully dissolved into the water beforehand. So uh, it is very, very soft and silky. I think you guys can even see that subtle sheen to it. So nice and thin. I do love this color as an accent color. And you guys you guys know I am very simple when it comes to colors usually, but look how great it looks with just a blue for a pop of color. Of course, it's going to look great with grays, blacks, great fall color, really lovely material. What a nice item and also very emblematic of the destination that they've chosen for us. All right, the next item I see is some masala spice. So that probably has to do with this nice uh, this nice recipe that we received. It's from Arvindas. So let me see if I can find Arvindas on here, some information about it. Again, we have like three double-sided pages for me to share with you. So yes, this is a 70 gram tin. And of course it does come with the vegetable coconut curry recipe. So let me hold the tin up for you so you can see that nice little gold elephant emblem. It says, experience a true Epicurean adventure. Board a deluxe houseboat for a relaxing cruise through the Kamarkam backwaters, passing along a series of canals lined with village homes, coconut trees, and various other vegetation. Meals on board are a culinary experience, freshly cooked by your onboard chef and presented in true Carolyn style on banana leaves that you will dock and collect along the way. Moor the boat and interact with some of the local families who will demonstrate the quarion process made from coconut fiber found between the hard inner shell and the smooth outer surface of the coconut. They will also show you how they weave the yoga mats, climb the coconut trees, and the many plants growing around their herbal gardens. When you finally arrive home from your incredible Indian adventure, you will want to relive your Kerala journey and create a delicious vegetable coconut curry with Arvinda's Madras Masala that includes an intoxicating blend of spices, including black pepper, turmeric, coriander, cumin, chili powder, mustard seed, garlic, sea salt, fresh ginger, and other flavorsome spices. So we always love to get a little cooking uh, element because yes the food is such an important part and I really do love southern Indian cooking because it does have that kind of uh, coconut influence a lot and banana leaf it's like it's so great you can go into like banana leaf restaurants where that is your plate and you just you get so much for so little and it is delicious um, I always love when they include a jewelry piece so we did get a little fashion jewelry these are really pretty let me see if I can find these of course it's always going to be a little bit of a treasure hunt in here these are the red dangle drop earrings it says continuing your journey south so they've kind of told us in narrative but you guys know me I like to open the box as the items kind of appear to me Continuing your journey south, you will reach the beautiful scenic city of Udaipur, which is like the lake land that I wish I had gotten to go to, but I did not. So pretty. It says, built around four lakes with shimmering white palaces and temples across the water, aptly named City of Sunrise and known as the Venice of the East, the city of Udaipur with its elaborate palaces, serene lakes, exotic temples, and resplendent gardens has become renowned as the most romantic place in India and an ideal destination for fairy tale weddings and magical honeymoons. Wearing earrings and the color red has significance in Hindu culture. So a lot of brides wear red depending on your family. Some families wear other colors, but the most popular color I believe is red. 
Ear piercing is an ancient Indian practice known as Karna Veda. It is one of the 16 sacraments, rituals, and sacrifices done to mark the various stages of human life and to signify cultural heritage and upbringing. Some believe it is intended to open the inner ears for receiving sacred sounds that will cleanse the mind and nurture the spirit. In Indian culture, colors are highly important. Red is connected to Durga, a warrior goddess, and symbolizes love, commitment, strength, and bravery. For this reason, brides wear red for their wedding ceremonies along with red earrings and bangles, red dye in their hair, and they place a red bindi on their foreheads to represent purity. So I didn't know that that was uh, necessarily the bindi. I thought that was more about the third eye, but these are lovely chandelier earrings. I thought that was really fun. I did buy a lot of jewelry when I was in India. Um, I I still, one of my like biggest regrets was not buying a ruby ring. Um, and it was what taught me to not have regrets when traveling and to occasionally splurge and buy a little bit more. So going along with our um, culinary theme, it looks like we also have something really cool. This is an authentic Kahari serving side dish. This is gorgeous. This like hammered copper, you guys, it's going to be very mirrory on the inside. So I won't show that to you for very long, but look at those beautiful handles. So I'll just hold it up like this while I read to you about this. To enhance your authentic Indian dining experience, we've included a traditional Kahari karhari a side serving dish that's perfect for your dal which is like made with lentils it says your hammered copper bowl is handcrafted the traditional way in india using techniques passed down through centuries of medical workers your dish will bring something extra special to your dinner table and put the perfect finishing touches on your own indian meal your dish features a decorative brass handle on either side inside a stainless steel which will never tarnish or alter the taste of your meals. And then they do give us care instructions again, which I appreciate. After each use, rinse in water and dry thoroughly. Place two tablespoons of baking soda in a small dish and drizzle a small amount of lemon juice into the baking soda and stir to make a paste. Apply the paste to your dish with your hands and rub in a circular motion with a polishing cloth. Leave for 30 minutes and then rinse with warm water and buff dry it with a clean towel for your uh, sterling silver. That's so cool for your stainless seal. That's awesome and it's a good thing to know just in general. I guess that's uh, for the interior Interior, right or is it maybe for the exterior to keep the copper nice and shiny I don't know but that's gonna be like one of my favorite things I think well, this is a little bonus you guys we got a little cotton bag tag which is super cute this is from worldwide adventures india one of those companies that they have a code with it says worldwide adventures india is delighted to support the pagir foundation which stands for people's action group for inclusion and right in the ladaka known as the little tibet of india by repurposing paper cloth and plastic waste materials thus reducing overall pollution in the creation of these beautiful and unique baggage tags the skilled differently abled artisans were able to earn a livelihood with independence and dignity I think that's super cool. So it just got a loop so you can probably push it through uh, with the handle to make it stay in place. So and it does have a tag on there so you remember where it came from. That is really cool. All right. So we still have a few more things to take a look at. Let me see if I can get this page out of the way and see if I can. I've already covered a couple things. So we have some yoga non-slip socks. This is really cute. Look how cute even the grippies are on the bottom of these socks. Now you guys know I'm not a sock person, but sometimes it's nice. Now I don't wear socks in my yoga classes. I know sometimes people like to do that, especially if they don't have a mat or they're traveling or they're renting a mat. It's kind of almost got like ballet elastic, but these are great if you take Pilates classes. It says, continue your journey and fly south to Cochin, the commercial capital of Kerala. Here you will encounter a completely different Indian experience. Wake up to the sound of ship's horns from the nearby harbor, then floating past along the shipping channel, part of the Vembanad Lake that flows through to the ocean. Here on the ocean, you can enjoy balmy breezes and swaying coconut palms. First on your agenda will be morning yoga. Later, take a walking tour through Wilmington Island in the historic part of Old Kochi, filled with picturesque tiled roofs and pastel colored buildings. Travel two hours to Kumarakam, voted among the 25 best getaways in the world by Condé Nast. Here you will feel the stress literally dripping off your body. Relax with an early morning yoga meditation session, followed by an Ayurveda spa experience, a 5,000 year old Indian system in natural healing, the sister science to yoga. Yoga therapeutic treasure has its roots in ancient Indian culture. Yoga shows us the ways and means to achieve synergy, maintain and improve vigor and vitality, and boost inner health and harmony. You will appreciate your yoga socks with their non-slip grip design for improved stability and balance to have better control of your body movements. The crossed elastic straps will help keep them in place and their stretchability makes them one size fits all. Also when traveling, pop them into your handbag and let your feet breathe in comfort, whether walking around your hotel room or on the plane. I was just thinking those would be fantastic for the plane. That is such a great idea. 
We also got this very cute little mandala cosmetic bag. So it says, few places excite the imagination in quite the same way as Rajasthan. Battle-scarred forts and grand marble palaces and temples dot the landscape, conjuring up images of chivalry and romance. Rugged natural beauty, the vibrant colors of traditional dress, and the delightful folk art and culture of this region add to the appeal. Here in the land of Rajas, whose love of opulence and grandeur is known for handicrafts, art, music, and dance, you can find beautiful handmade products. Mandala is an art form that that first appeared in Buddhist art, produced in India during the first century BCE, and is widely used for textile printing. The mandala, or Sanskrit for circle, is an artistic representation of higher thought and deeper meaning given as a geometric symbol used in spiritual, emotional, or psychological work. The flower of life mandala design is made up of repeated circles that move outward from the center and represent the single origin of the universe, life, and all of creation. The colors in which the flower mandalas are represented are also significant. White represents spiritual focus, purity, innocence, and sympathy. Blue symbolizes inner peace, harmony, emotional healing, and meditation. Purple is the color of spirituality, and pink symbolizes intuition, femininity, and love. Your beautiful Flower of Life mandala designed cosmetic bag is perfect for travel, made from waterproof polyester material. It would store your cosmetics and other small items. So it does have some padding. It's like slightly quilted. It looks like it's got a teeny little loop here if you wanted to hook it on something, but I do appreciate that it's padded so you could actually use it for something that needs a little bit of extra cushion as well. And then I believe we have a one final item and it's more of a travel item. And this is a great one, you guys. These are wireless headphones and they're the kind that go over your head instead of just the little AirPods. These are like clutch on planes, you guys. I love that they included this. It says for your journey, pack these lightweight, portable folding wireless headphones into your hand baggage, relax and listen to your favorite music or podcasts, watch movies or play games while waiting for your flight to depart and onboard the plane for your amazing trip to India. So they fold up really small. Isn't that nice that they fold small? Nice cushions for your ears. It says your Bluetooth enabled headphones have so many features, including answer phone, microphone, song switching, voice control, voice prompt, as well as being waterproof. I freaking love that. There's a lot to see when you arrive in India. Your eyes, heart, and spirituality will be truly open to this amazing country and its people. Visit Humayun's tomb, considered to be the predecessor of the Taj Mahal, and one of the best examples of Mughal architecture. Take a rickshaw through the narrow winding streets of Old Delhi, passing colorful bazaars sacred temples and colonial monuments. Continue to the white marble Jama Masjid, Friday Mosque, the largest mosque in India. Drive by the Presidential Palace, Parliament House, and the iconic Red Fort. Been to the Red Fort. And finally, visit at the Sikh Gurudwara Temple, where more than 10,000 people flock each day to pray and are served a free lunch made in the most gigantic cooking vessels. So I believe that that is it. Now, they do have uh, added technology now, you guys, where you can get like the air fly duo so that for watching on the actual plane you plug it into that and it creates a wireless signal so that you could still use these so that you don't have to just use your own devices but I do find that this is really nice because when you are on a really long flight you guys um, having airpods in for like 10 hours or more starts to hurt your ears like I get little like blisters on my ears so I love this and you can see it's adjustable in length once I snapped it into place so these are perfect and they're actually a little bit smaller than some of the other ones I've seen. I mean, those are nice for like noise canceling and really like um, making sure that you can't hear anything else around, but I think these are gonna work just fine. So it does say the standby time is up to 15 hours. I'm super psyched on that. I think that's a really cool item. So let's just kind of quickly go over everything that we got. I'm sorry I didn't read it in the order in which they designed where they took us on like kind of a journey. Um, I know there's like the golden triangle that people often do, but I love that they focused a lot on the south of India as well. So we did get the wireless folding headphones. We also got our cashmere pashmina shawl, one of my favorite items for sure. Our flower of life, uh, ooh, we got a travel tin with soy candle. Where is that? I have to find that for sure, you guys. Oh, how cute. That is so neat. So we got another beautiful mandala design uh, with floral petals. It says, the lighting of candles holds a strong significance in India with one of the most important Hindu festivals being Diwali or the Festival of Lights. It's a five day celebration that includes good food, fireworks, colored sand, and special candles and lamps or diyas. In Hindu tradition, the lighting of a diya is an important part of prayer and it signifies purity, goodness, good luck, and power. So you can see there's some petals in there. That's so nice. So, and it also tells us to visit Varanasi while you are there, the location of the Ganges and the ultimate pilgrimage spot for Hindus, where you are graced if you happen to die in Varanasi, of course. So, 
Oh, that smells really nice. I'm glad that I went through the list. That's why we go through the list at the end, you guys, so that we make sure that we get everything. And I love that they rounded it out with a lovely, lovely candle. So we got our cosmetic bag, like I said. We got our uh, beautiful drop earrings. Those are super awesome. We got our non-slip yoga socks, which I will definitely use. We got our masala spices as well as the beautiful serving dish. I just thought this was great. And then we got, of course, that little extra luggage tag and those awesome deals from those travel companies. So this is one of my favorite items. The earrings are one of my favorite items. The candle is one of my favorite items. The pashmina. This was a really good box. Probably my favorite one so far from gate check it makes me definitely want to travel back to india so i'm definitely gonna have to check out those two travel companies let me know in the comments below if you had the opportunity to travel to india if you have the desire to if you did what was your favorite site if you haven't yet what would you like to see i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all very very soon in my next unboxing thank you so much to gate check